What is up guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another exciting episode of Yak Pack Outdoors and another swim bait showdown episode, guys. Check it out really quick before we get started. So I was gonna use this bait today, right? This is the Deep Creek Lures bait fish, okay? Uh, Colin was nice enough to, uh, and kind of insisted on me using a mag draft instead today. So if you guys wanna see me make a, a swim bait showdown episode with that Deep Creek bait fish, just let me know right now down in the comments and I'll, I'll make that happen. But today we're gonna be using the Mega Bass mag draft, guys. So with that being said, let's strap this go prone let's get to fishing and let's see if we can catch a mondo on the mag draft all right guys so this is the mega bass mag draft that i'm using today colin is using the bait sander that you guys have seen me make a video on that i'll link it below and trey is using the triton bullshad. the triton bullshad today this thing is absolutely crazy so i actually have a question for you youtube guys right so check this out is this bait supposed to be like kind of offset like that do you guys see what i mean is it supposed to be offset like that? Like, we don't know. So if it's not supposed think. to be like that, then, then let us know in the comments. So we're gonna walk back here and, and do a lap around the lake and see the best we can do on the mag draft, guys. So the first thing we always wanna do, guys, when we are testing out a swim bait that we have never used before is we wanna find some, some open water. We got a lot of weeds right here around the, the bank, but want to find some open water we always want to t throw it out and it just kind of see how it swims okay so not a lot of head action on this bait at long like but from here down from here from these little like dorsal fins down lots of action this also has a magnet on it to keep this treble hook in place so pretty cool little bait so far you know i'm working my way up colin to a, a mother I'm working my way up to a mother. Oh, Trey. You better get him in so we can deal with that. You don't want to lose that bait. Oh my God, now we gotta deal with this. If it ain't if it ain't me that catches a gator, it's Trey. Don't lose that bait. Step back from the bank. Dude, we gotta we get we're gonna need pliers, like he chomped the hook. This little side pouch right there, there's a uh, plastic plastic bag. You hear him calling mama. Calling mama. What the f is that? <laughs> Grab your line. Did you ever think that this would be your first catch? Nope. Toss him. Well, it's never it's never a swim bait showdown without a, a visit from a gator, is it? <laughs> I swear it never fails, guys. There's probably like a few of those small ones in here. It's never a proper swim bait showdown episode if a gator doesn't visit. Watch that corner right there, Trey, where that straight all the way over there, that corner. Lots of ropes. Oh, <gasps> what? Dude, Trey's got a, a freaking mega. Oh my God. What is that? <laughs> oh my. I thought Trey was hooked up. And then I thought, and then it's ended up Colin being hooked up. I thought it was a freaking. Help me out. Oh my goodness, guys. You're not going to believe what Colin Dude, just caught. Gonna... Colin literally just caught an iguana. Ow. Let me get his feet off the ground. <laughs> Colin literally just caught a freaking iguana. You got the pliers? You, I gave him back to you. Look at this, guys. Where, where's a good angle? Like, just Colin, why, why is it? Is this a multi species day? Watch out. Yeah, you got him. Hold his tail I got really him. tight. I got him. You don't clip the trick for Instagram? Guys. We've yet to catch a fish, but we, we've caught a gator and a iguana. So there's that. All right, let's get the release on. You got catch the trick. Hold up, don't. <laughs> well, we are in the middle of doing a lot of things right now, guys. Breaking rod tips is probably what? Trey just got his line stuck. There he goes. <laughs> Look at <laughs> the concrete. <laughs> well, what Trey was trying to show you guys, okay? Oh, you want me to do it again? He just, no. Well, if you want to sacrifice that bull shad. I mean, I'll go swim and get it right there. Right. Okay, so look guys, Trey's gonna show you this. So this is what we're, Trey was just trying to show you guys this as we were dealing with an iguana, okay? Right. It's been a weird day, just trust. It's, just been, it's been a weird day. So Trey's bull shad is stuck, hang on. Stuck on the drain pipe. Trey's right bull shad is stuck right there. So right. this is how he's gonna do it. So take your reel off, reel up the slack, and just slide the rod down it. Boom and it comes off just like that. A lot of guys get their crankbaits unstuck from like timber 
and stuff docks, like that. Anything. Docks, yeah. Jigs on docks are, are mainly treble hook stuff, right? Uh, you can do it with anything. Yeah, but mainly I get stuck with treble hooks and uh, you you got, but don't let go of your reel when you do that. Yeah. Always hold your reel. All right, let's go try to catch a bass. We've got a alligator and an iguana so far. What a, what an episode. Guys, it's been a tough, tough bite today so far. Uh, we've been out here for probably like two and a half hours. And we've got um, a couple of bites, but nothing to commit. We've caught a alligator and an iguana of all things. I don't know why that is. I always, when me and Colin fish together or when I fish period, we always, like weird things happen, weird things are caught, but we're gonna make a move right now and hit the last spot. And we're gonna see what we can make happen over here at the, uh, the last spot, the place that we call the wall. Let's get it fishing. guys just got absolutely destroyed right here huh? absolutely destroyed right here Big one? I couldn't tell he, he flashed on it so fast man but he missed it just dropped it like this and he just instant right from under this grass right here I'm talking insta crush so far guys I've uh, missed one fish uh, right there, back there at that drain pipe. The only complaint that I have about this bait so far is I wish that the magnet that held the hook was a little bit stronger. But other than that, I mean, the action on it's pretty good. You kind of got to reel it a little more like slow than than I like. But uh, as far as swim bait fishing, kind of just got to figure out how they want it. I did right there, right there. Just got bumped. There's definitely a fish down there. Go. He's got options. <laughs> We're about to give him some options. Uh, oh, <laughs> there he is. Go, go, Colin, go. He's going. We're going to give him some options. <laughs> Dude, he was like a pound. That's not a pound. <laughs> Ooh, did you see how big that was? It's this big. Trey, did you see the size of it? How big would you think that one was? 10 pounder, bro. Five? Yeah. I wasn't going to say nothing, though. Dang. That right there, guys, that is part of swim bait fishing. Yep, I wasn't going to say anything. <sighs> is that the same fish or is there a couple in here? There's got to be a couple, dude. There's got to be a couple. There's yeah, there's got to be a couple. That one fish would not have hit each three of these baits. There's no way. I, I think it was probably on. Um... Well, no, I, I kind of saw the fish. Oh, you did? I think that might have been like a seven. Did you see how long it was? Yeah, I mean, I seen it, Colin. Yeah, I seen he, the whole he thing. He said that thing was like five. I seen the whole thing, Colin. How big did you say he was? Five. Five? Yeah. But what then again, I got I was I was kind of turned on the hook set, so I don't know. I mean, I saw him. He was pretty damn big in the movie. But he looked skinny, so I don't know. All right, guys, that's going to go ahead and wrap this video up for the uh, Mega Bass Mag Draft. So as you guys saw, it's it's tough out here right now. It's it's probably, I think it's like 94 degrees right now. It's the middle of the day, so it's probably not the the ideal time to be out fishing for you know, especially with big baits. There's Colin and there's Trey, by the way. But uh, it, it's yeah, like I said, it's not ideal to be out here at this time of day fishing big swim baits. But uh, this is like, we're limited. This is the only time of day we had to come out and fish. But uh, with that being said, we're gonna wrap this video up. Uh, my thoughts and opinions after fishing with the mega bass all day is I definitely do like the bait. How much is the bait, Colin? How much is the mag draft? Uh, uh, that one was $12. $12? So for, tw uh, for a $12 soft plastic swim bait, I like it. The only, the only negative thing I can say about the bait is uh, like I said earlier in this video, I wish it had a stronger magnet to hold the hook in place. I got a, that was a bug on the lens. But anyways, guys, thank you again for watching. I uh, hope you guys are enjoying the swim bait showdown as much as I am making these videos. Absolutely love it. But anyways, thank you again for watching, guys. We will catch y'all. Y'all guys want to say anything? Uh, like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Follow guys. me on Instagram. That Instagram works. Twitter, Twitter, Twitter. Uh, hey, look, he can't even plug himself. Thanks again for watching, guys. We'll catch y'all next time.